So I was looking at a Humble Bundle on Humble.com and they had a Hacking 101, um, you know, group of books or, you know, if you don't know what a Humble Bundle is, they sell a bunch of books for one price, like you can get for $25, uh, you know, a bunch of books. And one of those books happened being Bla uh, Black Hat Go. Uh, Go is a language that I've used and worked with before, so I said, you know, let's, uh, this is what I'm reading right now. Well, I'm the type of person that learns multiple things at one time. So I was thinking one of the first projects in this Black Hat Go book was a port scanner, right? Now it was more well they showed a way to do it multi-threaded and non you know non multi-threaded or whatever but i thought this would be a cool project to um to port over to v so let's get into it now the most popular of port scanners would definitely have to be nmap you can do it by here you can see me um you know port scanning my loopback address or my you know my ip address my local ip address you can see what ports i have open and then you can use dash F and that'll only um, that'll only show the or dash capital F that'll only show the um, the uh, most frequent uh, ports open or you know the most popular ports open and then you have uh, the hose next it was dash oh okay and you, you have to sudo in for this one but you're gonna have to um, you know, but this will give you back the operating system of the particular target or whatever. So, Nmap is probably what you should use, but we're coders, so we're going to do this thing right here. Now, I already wrote out all this code, so I'm going to just explain it to you. I'm not going to be like the cool kids and type it out today. Okay, first we got to import OS to get the command line arguments and net so that we can actually dial out to uh, make the connection. Of course now we have our main function all right and then we have the remote IP we're gonna get that if okay you can see os.args.length right it's less than two right so if it's less than two we're gonna give it a um, a default IP of 1.127 you know the local address 127.0.0.1 right and if there's more than two command line arguments which uh, then it will set the uh, remote IP to the the first command line argument uh, you see that it's an array so if it were zero over there then if it was zero if it was os.args.0 or, or you know zero between the brackets uh, basically what it would be is that would be the name of the program so it goes the name of the program and then the next argument right there right okay now we're moving along okay now we have the ports variable right or this is the dictionary actually right so it's gonna have the, the uh, service like first one you see is HTTP and the ports 80 right so it's gonna do each one of those ports right because we're gonna put it in the for loop and then you see the key and value a key and values because it's a it's a dictionary so the value for that particular one the, it's, the key is gonna be HTTP and the value is going to be 80. Then we're going to go down to this uh, variable that is connection. CONN connection is it's going to allow us to dial out. And you can see the in this for loop, it's going to take the remote IP and uh, and it's going to take the the value. Okay. All right. So the remote IP you can see is up at the top here which we already talked about which is either going to be the first argument or 127.0.01 or it's going to be the first argument and then the value is actually going to be the port number uh, as you see in this for loop alright I just noticed I said dial out okay so net.dialtcp is going to allow you to make a TCP connection right? uh basically when you when when you connect to a port via tcp there's going to be a, a there's going to be a message that uh, send an acknowledgement sending an acknowledgement so what you're doing by doing uh, um this dial tcp is you're you're sending uh you're you're, you're sending a, um you're sending out for the server so that the server can send you an acknowledgement and if it sends you acknowledgement on that particular port 
then you're you know then you know you have a connection so if we're if we send an we if we send a um if we send a packet out to uh to port 80 you know which is http well, we're going to end up get, you know and it's open it's open or the the server is responding um it's going to send us back an acknowledgement and that's how we'll know that the port is open okay this next line if ip is equal to peer i mean con dot your uh peer ip right what you're doing is you're checking to see if you can get um if if the peer ip is you know communicating with you right uh and if if uh if you get back a value from ip it's going to print it out meaning you have a connection and if not it's going to print nothing after that we'll close the connection and then we'll go uh we'll go back through the loop again and it'll go to the next one which would be dns okay let's run this all right now we can see we see what we got okay and compile this and you can see the two ports i have open all right that's it